we're going to be looking at this little guy. This is a capacitive touch sensor for an Arduino sensor. And I'm just curious. I want to I want to run it to um, this. I want it so that when you touch this metal knob, it will do things and yeah, light up some stuff. So this capacitive touch sensor works. How uh, you just you touch it and. Uh, and the Arduino gets a 5 volt signal, high or low. And I notice it's like metal in the back, and this isn't conductive, this is just silk screening on there. Um, you've got this like, I'll put a little scope here. Um, you've just got this little pad that's just silk screened on, but there's metal underneath, and it's connected with this trace to, it's via to there. And I'm pretty sure that that little capacitor is, connected to that trace. So, what I'm gonna do is attach a lead to that capacitor, and uh, then we should be able to uh, attach a wire to this, hmm, to a uh, spinning knob thing, that's the technical term for it, the uh, rotary encoder, that's it. A rotary encoder, and that should have a metal to metal contact with this. This is painted on the knob and that's going to cause me grief. But capacitive touch doesn't rely on uh, conductivity. It just needs like proximity to work. So let's, um, uh, let's do some soldering. See, this is what happens when you clean up your shop and you don't have any wire. Oh, I better, uh, I better plug this scope in. Isn't this the most ridiculous thing? This USB cord? It's so short. Uh, so I'm going to use an extension to plug it in because I can't be bothered to go look for my own. So found this USB extension to an Apple charger. Oh, nothing but the highest quality stuff. And it's plugged in. Okay. This is uh, one of those little eBay, uh, well, Amazon, uh, AliExpress, whatever. Mike microscopes um, and it's surprisingly good I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna record hmm if I can remember how to record it's a microscope it's not bad it was uh, 30 bucks 35 dollars or something and then the little metal stand that it comes with this that is like a necessity you can't do without it I, apparently it comes with a really crummy little plastic thing and uh yeah you gotta do what you can do you know this wire looks like it's already tinned so i'm just gonna bodge this right into whoop this is not uh, the greatest setup because i don't have any way to hold this still all right there we go Give it a little tug test tug 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 Actually, it doesn't really look very good, but uh, not bad zoom though, eh? For a little, eh, see, it's on there. It's, sorry for the shaky. Right, let's see if I can hold it still. It's on. Ooh, what did I do there? I oh, don't know. It's fine. This is like 30 gauge wire, and boy, up there, it's massive. But it's definitely on the end of that cap. Uh, where's my meter? <laughs> Meter. <laughs> oh, I left it out so I can find it. You see the recurring theme here. I don't know how you, well you'll be able to see this, but make my meter go beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Yay. Okay. So now I'm going to find that rotary encoder and it's in a bin somewhere. Here it is. All right. So rotary encoder, this is what this knob's going to go on. Um, you know, one of those. I'm hoping that the chassis is grounded. Hmm, that might pose a problem. Oh, it's not. It's not grounded. So no pin going out of this rotary encoder to the Arduino. Well, I guess I can um, 
put some flux on there and uh, just see if I can solder my little pin, my little wire to it. You know what? I'm going to solder a different wire to it. And then I can check this setup with a longer piece of wire. So I'll just get another piece of scrap wire here. I'm going to solder that to the case here. I'll just. <laughs> Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Have you guys been watching Lost in Space? It's so good. It's so good. It's a little bit predictable, and honestly, I could have done without Dr. Smith. But she's growing on me. Oop. Wow, that's a lot of flux. Okay. Uh, can you solder? Oh, the smell of flux. God, I love the smell of flux. Um, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna knock everything around here. Put some. Fuck <laughs> my. Uh, <laughs> like this this isn't this isn't heating up worth beans oh yeah there we go. see that where's the uh, oh oh neat oh neat that thing uh well that crashed <laughs> This microscope, it's a really good little microscope, I think. It's a really neat little, oh, look, it locked up. So we'll fire that up again, and then I can show you. Mm, yeah, see, so I just uh, dropped a little, whoop, dropped a little solder on there. You just put a pile of rosin, rosin flux, and there's my furnace again. And you pour some heat to it, and there you go. Let's see if I can solder on screen. Uh, mix that focus, how's that look? And is this the end of the sun solar here? Let me just do it. There we are. That didn't really settle in that far, but that's going to be plenty good enough for what I'm doing right now. So this will be like a bad setup, right? The, can, the, the connections aren't going to be that great. There's going to be noise in the system, um, uh, but I should be able to should be able to meter between yeah here and here. So now the the body of the knob of the uh, shaft of the rotary encoder is connected to the metal side of the capacitive touch pad, and now this I gotta connect. Oop, because it's uh, got to get tightened up. It uses what looks to be tiny little Allen keys. Do I have any of those? So this has two set screw locations on it. And that's because see the rotary knob is uh, got one flat side on it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but and that's the idea is you can put one of the set screws way in. And then the other one can just go up against the uh, up against the knob, but I'm only doing one for now. And this is a really heavy knob. It took me a long time to find this. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is a uh, it's just a single piece of aluminum, and it's nice and weighted. So when you spin it, um, it uh, has a nice satisfying uh, continuation. It goes. Bzz! has a nice little spin to it. it uh, it's got like momentum on it. It's nice. So, like I say, the, the, the face of this knob is painted silver. Because, you know, the aluminum, I don't know, wasn't good enough. And I was a little disappointed when I got it because the picture showed it just as machined aluminum. And... So, and it's not just that, it's actually anodized. So even the back that's uh, machined. It's got some kind of anodizing on it. Just gonna turn my yeah. Got some kind of anodizing on it. So uh, I'm really just gonna be getting close to the metal all the time, and I have no idea if this is gonna work. But we'll find out, won't we? Move my Mac over here. And uh, I don't know how much uh, 
Yeah, we're just going to see the side of my Mac here. And for Arduino, this is a Mega, uh, I don't know, Key, Key E Studio, Key E Studio. We got us a little blinky app running there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I shouldn't plug that in yet. I'm going to plug this guy in here. Dirtiest breadboard ever, but whatever, it works. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, look, my wire fell off. That looks good enough, I say. It looks good enough. That'll do. That'll do. Except it fell off. Okay. Let me try again. Turn my solder gun off. No, 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 no. Let that heat up for a second. Do, 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 do. Oh, I want a copyright strike. I want to sing that game show theme. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You stay on. Okay. That's a little better. I'm going to plug you into there. Plug you into there, and I'm gonna clip you onto here. Yeah. All right. Show you. So uh, I've just got a little um, thing here running that uh, I don't know if that's actually running right now. Is it? No. So I'm um, gonna open the serial monitor, and yeah, touch is zero. I'm gonna turn this on. It. This is cool. Uh oh. Saying touch to zero. One. Yeah, it goes to one when I touch it, but it does go off. So I may have. Even just thinking about it makes it go to touch to one. Certainly getting. <laughs> certainly getting near. I just get near the knob and it knows I'm near it. Well, maybe that'll do. I get near the wire, does it do that? Yeah. So the odds of me having this anywhere. Hmm. That's that's fascinating. I'm getting so it's off. It's like a proximity sensor. I just get near this thing. Capacitive capacitance change is enough to know that I'm near it. Well, that's kind of cool though, because you can light. I could know that I'm near it. And I could light something up. You know. And because it's not connected to any of the pins on the rotary encoder, it doesn't actually, I'm not grounding it to the rotary encoder or anything like that. But, uh, wow, that's crazy sensitive. And, uh, <laughs> I went silent there because I raised my feet off the ground to see if it made any difference. And it didn't. Hey, what you don't know, you don't know, right? Fancy that. All right, so I'll have to go get smarter and figure out why it's so sensitive and see how I can decrease the sensitivity. Kind of a neato little way of of knowing when my hand's near. So the idea is that I'm going to use this capacitor, uh, this this touch system, and of course now it's not touch, now it's just proximity, um, to uh, light up an interface. So uh, when you get near it, it'll light up, and uh, maybe some lights behind the LED or behind the behind the knob, and uh, I'll know when I'm near it and it'll light up and it'll show you what console is selected in my uh, console super selector system that I'm building, uh, which this is a part of. So yeah, I think that's it for now. Cheers.